Y'all see that? Closure where? gentlemen and everybody in between I am back I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 why does I say clink like that <laughs> I wish I could say I was drinking wine but you already know you can guess I'm drinking tea it's green tea y'all let me know what you're drinking down below do y'all see this hair because do you see these follicles look at that Come on, somebody. It is stunning. And can you believe that it is a five by five closure wig? Like, come on. Y'all can't say I don't come through with the curly wigs. I'm just saying. Before we get into this new scalp I got on my head and this lace that I got, stick it to my forehead and you can't even see it. I'm asking y'all, can y'all subscribe? And can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? Why am I so hot? What's going on? Did I get too excited? <laughs> I'm really hot. Do you love curly wigs as much as I do? Because I'm obsessed with curly wigs. And this one is no exception. And I want to say thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is another curly wig and it's a curly closure wig. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the details. But look, I'm just going to show y'all. I'm going to give y'all a little preview. See that? Oh wait, there's a track right there. <laughs> wait, let me show this side because I think I did it better. But y'all see, uh, let me do the front. <laughs> y'all see that? Closure wear. And look at the curls. Now this cut, I did myself, but look at the curls. Oh, let me show you what it looks like from the side and the back. Did I show y'all? Look, <laughs> look, see that? Oh. Come on somebody. In this wig application, I wanted to do more of like a, you know, like layered, SZA, rockish sort of look. That's always been like, I love layered curly wigs. It makes them look bigger, fuller, livelier. Show you how I apply this wig, how to make your closure wig look like a frontal from the front. You know what I'm saying? Like when the wind blow, the girls won't know. If you wanna see everything I did to customize this wig and get her looking like this, and you wanna get more details about it, how she looked when she came out of the box, please keep on watching, and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the packaging. <sighs> my lips are ashy every five seconds. Like that is really annoying. Now let's go ahead and get started with the packaging on this wig and then we're gonna get into applying this wig. I'm gonna make it quick, easy, so I'm not honing y'all up today. So, the wig comes in the Nadula hair box. This is what the box looks like. You know, you know it's Nadula when it's a black box coming to your door. So inside of that box, you receive gifts. Y'all already know, I like to show y'all the gifts. Now the gifts I receive may not be the gifts that you receive, but I'm gonna show you what came in this box. Of course, we have the, the Nadula hair storage bag. Keep your bag so you can store your wigs. Oh girl, they gave me a whole bunch of wig caps. None of these are my skin tone. Three packs of wig caps for me. Most likely you'll get one. A headband. A Nadula wig band to melt your lace, which I love. I will be using that today. They also gave me the little satin bag. And inside the bag, I have another elastic band. Y'all have so many of these, it's crazy. We have a bonnet. Never can have too many bonnets. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> it's the elephant lashes. A powder brush. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. All of the items that came inside the box as gifts. Now, let's get to the real gift. It's not a gift, girl, because you paid for it. Let's get to the wig. This is the wig. Now, this wig is a 5x5 five five closure jerry curly wig. It is 28 inches long and 250% density, baby. This wig is a 5x5 five five closure wig. I did, oh girl, I kind of over bleached these knots. I rarely over bleach knots, but I was doing too much. So I was having a little bit of tequila and bleaching knots and I was just. When you pop the hood on the wig, you can see that this wig comes with three combs and adjustable strap. And it also comes with a piano key 
elastic band. This is so you can wear your head, your wig, glueless or gelless without having to adhere it to your forehead. It's summertime, girl. We need to be able to snatch these things off. You can adhere it to your head and it is adjustable as well. So you can adjust it to your head size. The knots were not bleached when I received the wig. So I did bleach the knots myself and I kind of over bleached them. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's a little, she did a little bit much. I'll show you what it looks like before and after the knots have been bleached, but that's what it looks like after bleaching. Ooh. I love a good bleach knot, y'all know me. They're saying it's HD Lace. Now we've talked about HD Lace before. HD Lace is basically, okay, so we have three types of lace. We have transparent lace right here, HD Lace right here, and regular lace right here. So between the three, HD Lace is my favorite and you can tell why when you're looking at my arm. All three just don't, they don't look bad, but HG Lace is always that girl for me. So this is the one we'll be working with today. So now that we talked about the lace and the wig and all that type of stuff, let's go ahead and put her on our head. Base, I like for it to be simple because I'm gonna take this wig off in a couple of hours. So I like to do, the ball cap method just be taking way too long, especially if I'm gonna end up taking it off after I get done. I cannot sleep in a wig. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. I don't know if it's age, but I be hot at night. I tinted this wig cap before so hopefully this wig cap looks more looks closer to my skin tones base is done so now let's go ahead and throw on the wig let's throw it on okay hold on girl Ooh, i over bleached the knots but look at it it looks so good okay we're gonna do a middle part on this wig now let me make sure it's straight this is what the side looks like girl it's giving very much um end of the road that's it it's just a dead end so this is what it looks like on the edges so let me take this wig off and we're gonna do like a fake hairline why do i look like this so let me plop her off i'm gonna take a baby hair brush where is my gel hold on trying to be cute so i'm gonna take some eco styler gel and we're just gonna <clears throat> ooh, lay down some baby hairs using a baby hair brush. And this is what I like to do. I'm just gonna take some hair and brush it forwards. I'm gonna do it down here as well. Y'all know I actually trimmed some baby hairs into my head. <laughs> A shame. This is where we are, girl. The same thing on this side. It's just to give the illusion that there is an actual hairline here. Make it look like it's a lace frontal or at least like your real hairline. Now that that's done, girl, that may not be enough. <laughs> we'll figure it out. So we can go ahead and get to this hairline. I'm gonna stay up close just so you can see how I like to do the hairline. Let's. Plop her right back on. Ooh, y'all look at that hairline. Look at it. So I'm gonna part it down the middle. We're gonna keep it easy and simple today. We're gonna do a down the middle moment. Down the middle. Hold on, let me make sure it's centered. Hold on. Ooh, you can kind of see where I over bleached it, girl, no. Oh, that looks good though. Next, we're gonna go ahead and you already know what it is. We like to flatten our hairline. Now for me, when I flatten my hairlines, I like to use a mousse or something just to get it like really flat so we ain't going nowhere. So the mousse that I like to use, you can get it. Girl from your local Target, whatever. Oh, This is the Shea Moisture Wig and Weave Flyway and Wrap Mousse. So I'm gonna take some mousse. And I'm gonna flatten it. Backwards. There we go, and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm not plucking the hairline because one, I don't need to. Secondly, um, I feel like I over bleached the knots and I actually ended up pulling out some hairs because I got, <laughs> ooh, she did a little bit much. So now that that's moved backwards, next, I am going to go ahead and use my Dyson, the Dyson baddie. I'm a Dyson baddie now. <laughs> Typically when I used to flatten my hairline, what I would do is 
um, flatten it with a rapid strip, but I ain't got no rapid strips. Also, it takes too long to do. So what I'm gonna do is use my Dyson in the flyaway attachment just to dry this, but I'm only gonna dry it this way. I'm not trying to straighten it. I'm just trying to like dry it a little bit. I'll do it on warm. Now that that's done, you can see that the hair is over directed backwards. And all I need to do now is um, kind of flatten it with the hot comb. Now I'm gonna use my Andis hot comb just to kind of flatten it backwards and secure the wig going this way. So I take my Andis hot comb and just hit the roots. Now you can also do this with the wax stick, but Sometimes the wax stick don't be doing it. But we're moving, y'all know, I'm trying to be a mover and shaker in here. I'm not trying to be in here for six hours today. So that has been flattened backwards. And as you can see, let me pull this forward. It's giving very much hairline. You see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? You saw where I was going with this? Technically, it's not necessary to tint the lace, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I like for my wigs to look seamless, so I am going to tint my lace. I always tint my lace. I feel like tinting your lace is a really good practice. Now, when I tint my lace, I use the same lace tint that I always use. It's, where is it? Where is she? I like to use this lace tint spray. So this is the lace tint spray from Flawless Illusions. It is the Flawless Illusion by Kellen Derrick lace tint spray. This was created by Kellen Derrick, Megan the Stallion's hair wig stylist. I use the tone medium brown. It's the perfect tone for me. And what I like to do is take one of these brushes. They actually provided one of these in the box for me. I'll spray the lace tint on it, but then I'll blend it in with the brush just to make sure it's even and we don't have any splotches. Now, I've told y'all before, I love this lace tint, but she is messy and I got a lot of white around me. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to turn this this off as brown. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this wig off and I'm going to spray the lace tint into the cap and then blow dry it to set it. Why am I having such a hard time speaking today? What's going on? One Do y'all see the difference after I tinted the lace? Like, I could leave this whole visor on and walk out the door. Oh my God, is that your skin lifting up? Mm-hmm. Oh girl, we're moving fast. Oh, that's why we love closures, cause wow. Now, we, all we have to do is cut off our lace. Now I need, I'ma pull this back. I'ma pull this part of the hair rub back. We're gonna pull it back like this. But in order to cut the lace, I like to use um, my Annie shears and we're just gonna snip it off. Now, as you can see, like right here, there's like a little folded part where the lace is. I try my best to cut part of it off. So I'll go like at an angle like this. And then I'll do the hairline, so. No, I'll just go all the way across. In a zigzaggy. The lace has been cut. Let me tell you something, friend. You don't need to glue this down. You could be done at this point. But I like for my wigs, I like to gel down or spray down my wigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and use either like a gel or a spray, depending what type of mood I'm in. And I think I'm gonna start with the spray and maybe go over it with the gel, with the wig dealer gel. So let me show you the gel I like to use. So these are the girls. So I'm gonna use the wig dealer spray to lay down the lace and then I'm gonna go over the edges that seem to lift. I'm gonna go over it with the gel. 
Girl, we're, we're moving qu quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I'm just gonna pull this back. As y'all can see, like, look, look, friend, 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 friend. Hey, Linda, Linda, Linda. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spray across the forehead one time for the one time. I'm gonna make it real quick. I wanna use the back of a comb just to spread it around and make sure it gets tacky. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the wig. And then if I have any lifted edges, I'll use this wig dealer touch up gel just to get those edges melted down and making it look seamless. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ooh, Rick on. Okay, let's get going. Y'all, 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 where is the lace? Oh my God, I lost it, oh no. Now let me go ahead and do these baby hairs. I need to go ahead and part away some baby hairs because we're gonna do baby hairs on the edges just to cover up. Y'all see that where the closure ends? There's like these little, you could tell. That's where the closure ended. And we're trying to make it seamlessly go into the hairline. So we're gonna try and make this work. So this is what I do. I take some baby hairs. Since this um, wig was pre-plucked pretty well, we don't have to worry about plucking. Now, I don't really care if these baby hairs are a little bit thicker because it has to cover a lot more. I'm wanting these baby hairs just to be a little bit thicker and they may be a little bit longer because I want them to to double back and go into this part. You see what I'm saying? To give it more of a hairline sort of look, so. I always lose my baby hair, so I'm gonna clip that back. And I'm just gonna cut this down. I'm gonna go a little bit, I'm gonna cut down the baby hairs. Chopped off some hair. Don't be scared, friend, don't be scared to do it. So I'm gonna take this baby hair brush and I'm gonna use some of my wig dealer spray, I probably should use some other spray because I'm not trying to waste this. Girl, this is gold to me. Y'all see? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, and what I like to do is take some of the hairs and just kind of cover up that little track right there. I'll just take some hairs and just go this way. Just so I'm swooping into the hairline, and there we go. Look at that. You can still see the track, but once I let the hair down, you won't be able to see it. They're sisters. Okay, so let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I bragged on this side, but this side, it's looking real thick. But I'm not gonna pull this hair up to fix it. Maybe I can like pluck out a couple hairs. Ooh, this is where it gets to be, leave well enough alone. Yeah, I just need to take out a couple of these. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. It was just like a little bit too thick, like right in there. Y'all can tell I over bleach these knots, so. <laughs> Anyways, girl, who cares? Let's move on. As long as the hairline's looking good, we are okay. So, this is what it looks like if you were to just wash and condition the wig, don't add any mousse to it, just apply the wig and go. I do wanna add like, some layers to it. Y'all know I'm not the best at adding layers, but I'ma do it. I'ma do it. 
I want some layers in the front. I want to, I want this hair to look big, big. So I'm going to take the hair on both sides like this. Oh, it is already slightly layered. The hair is already layered in the front, but I want more layers, more division. Okay, so these are the parts that I'm gonna cut. So let me pull this hair back because I don't want to get this mixed up in the other hairs. Now where, see this is where I need to learn how to be prepared. I'm gonna twist it like this, right? Twisting it down and I'm just gonna cut right here. Okay, and I'm gonna retwist it. Take the ends and I'm just gonna cut into them so it's not so blunt. I don't even know if that did anything. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's an experiment, friend. What happened? Ooh, what was that supposed to do? Wow, um, it's supposed to layer itself and I don't think it did that. <laughs> what did that do for me? I'm gonna cut these pieces to the top of my lip and then we'll start from there. So I'm gonna cut these. Ooh, did I want it that short? Probably not. <laughs> That is way too short. Oh, friend. So I'm gonna start from there and I'm just gonna layer downwards. So start from here and I'm gonna layer like this. And we're gonna start in tiny sections. You see like that? And I'm doing like long layers. Continuously moving the scissors. And from here, I'm gonna start from where I last stopped on the last piece and I'm gonna keep going down. I'm just dragging the scissors along. I need sharper scissors because... There we go. <laughs> we gonna make this work. Do the same thing on this side. Wow, that's uneven too. <gasps> well, <laughs> y'all won't be able to tell once the hair is down. <laughs> Let me fix this, girl. I'm gonna fix it. Don't worry. Okay, now for this part, I'm gonna take some of the hair and I'm just gonna layer into it just so it like looks like it's going together. So I'm gonna frame, I'm taking like a little chunk right here and just cutting into it. Like that. And I need to take some of these hairs right here and I just need to chop into it as well. Just so it's not like. Yeah, I'll be getting ahead of myself. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all see? <laughs> Please don't click off the video. <laughs> okay, so I gotta do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna chop into it. I'm gonna take a section. That's framing the face. I'm gonna take some, a section that's framing the face and I'm gonna cut into it as well. I'm just gonna cut into it. Okay, 
Okay, it's rounding out. Do y'all see the vision of what I was trying to do and what happened? <laughs> Okay, so I think I just need to do a little trimation on the bottom just to make this make sense. So I'm just going to take some of the hair, just pull it down. <laughs> oh girl, this hair is looking big. Oh. <laughs> okay, so just down at the bottom I need to take off. This is 28 inches, so I'm going to cut it down like maybe a couple of inches on the bottom. So here's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna take the scissors and just cut across. Cause the ends, you see, are like a little bit dry. So we took those off. And now we cooking with grease. I'm just gonna try to make this transition like that. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, so I'm just going in and kind of evening out everything. Okay, so this is about right. Oh, this is huge, <laughs> baby. Oh, girl, this hair is big now. Okay, now I feel like, okay, let me show you what it looks like in the back. Hopefully it's not too choppy. Oh, oh, this is what it looks like in the back. I should have told y'all, showed y'all what it looked like in the back initially. I'm so sorry. Okay, so yes, it's giving more of a rockish sort of look. Oh, this is what I was trying to do. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I want rude, big hair. You can't see if you sit behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the mousse, you already know. You already know what team this is. I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. I don't know why I'm reading it because I use it all the time. The mousse and then the Evolve 572 brush and brush it through and work the product through the hair so it gets really, really fluffy and beautiful. I'm gonna try and concentrate the mousse on the ends just to make it, you know, like more, the ends need to be really curly. The, the, the roots don't have to be like super curly, but the ends need to be. So we're gonna start doing that. Let me start sectioning away the hair. I'm gonna part her down the middle, but first, hold on. Let me call my husband. I'm just gonna work from the back. I'm probably gonna work in bigger sections and just focus on the ends because this is a lot of hair. And I'm not trying to be here all day. And I say this every time, and guess where I be? Here all day. I'm gonna try my best. Not to do that, but I guess we'll see. I need another claw clip or something. So let me add some mousse. I'm trying to get it all up in the hair, you know? Ooh. Girl, it's raining right out there. What is happening? Y'all see that? Just adding the mousse, concentrating on the ends. I need to figure out how much mousse I actually have. I probably just need to go stand out in the, in the rain and get this hair wet. <laughs> well, ooh, child. Not the thunder. It's Georgia, y'all, so it'll be sunny in a second once the rain passes. It's so, Atlanta has been so strange. Georgia is so strange. Y'all, and that's what the curls look like on the end. So pretty. Oh my God, I love it. On top of the mousse, I'm gonna add a little bit of this uh, Coconut Curls Air Dry Cream. So I'm just gonna add this to the ends to like really get the curls to, to be jumping off. Oh girl, what? did I lock this? What happened? 
put it on the ends. My girl holla at the kid said I should do that. She said, add a little bit of cream on it. I said, Miss Nunio in the comments, y'all see her, that's my girl. My girl said, hey, just add a little cream. This is how the curls look after adding the mousse and brushing through the curls. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I'm gonna do this for the rest of the hair and I'm gonna work in sections, larger sections because girl, this is a lot of hair, 250% density. We won't have time to do nothing else today. Let me work through the rest of the hair just to get the curls going and I'll be back once all of it is done. Okay y'all, I, this is a finished look. I'm sorry, I was about to jump. This is exactly what I was trying to do. I was trying to get clumpy, short curls in the front. These little, these little short curls in the front, like little bangs. And I wanted layers. I wanted like rock style, scissors style, hair and that's what I got the curls are just so juicy these curls are like really fluffy juicy curls and with the layering the layering brought out the curls like I just I don't know what to say friend. <laughs> 
but I'm in love and I want y'all like look at the hairline it is so realistic it melts right into the skin it's just everything I wanted it to be plus some like gorgeous let me show y'all what it looks like in the back do you see this okay let me show you the back oh not my hands <laughs> if it's not even don't blame it on me girl I don't know who you're gonna blame it on but don't blame it on me <laughs> I want y'all to tell me what you think about this wig down below were y'all scared when I was cutting the wig? Because it was touch and go. It really was. It was giving very much mullet situation, but it, it came together. I wanna say thank you again to Nadula for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. Of course, if you're interested in this wig, y'all know we about to end the video, but that don't mean that you're gonna leave out this door without a coupon code. So we have two coupon codes down in the description box down below, but I'll leave them down in the description box. So check that out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wig review. And girl, we were on the edge of our seats. Both of us, all of us were on the edge of these seats, edge of our seats. And I thank God that it worked out. So happy. So thank you so much for watching. Where is my drink? I don't have one. <laughs> I love you all, and I'll see you. Me and my wig will see you in my next video. Bye.